Well, Zepto is uh, something that I think is really exciting. Uh, we all uh, have seen the growth of femtosecond laser, uh, predominantly for its benefits of doing capsulotomy and then fracturing the nucleus. Uh, Zepto, though, is going to be a disposable device, much like an instrument, that the surgeon will substitute for the capsule or excess forceps during the normal surgical sequence. Uh, so it really should have no effect on patient uh, workflow, either in terms of the surgery center or in, in terms of the actual uh, operating room. Uh, the device is basically powered by a small console, should be very inexpensive, and it consists of a disposable handle and tip. The main cutting element is a nitinol ring. Now it's going to be perfectly circular. The diameter will be sized to create a five millimeter diameter axis, and of course, different hand pieces could be used to create different diameter capsulotomies. Uh, the nitinol ring is surrounded by a thin, transparent silicone shell. One of the nice things about nitinol, and the reason it was chosen, it's a, it's a uh, memory-shape-changing alloy. So you can deform it and compress it so it goes through you know, a 2.2 millimeter incision, and then it rebounds inside the anterior chamber filled with viscoelastic to the, perfect, to, to the original size. So what the uh, surgeon would then do is oppose uh, the ring right to the anterior capsule. A uh, little bit of suction is just enough to create a uniform apposition. And then there's a train of brief electrical micropulses that create just enough heat to vaporize water molecules trapped between the anterior capsule and the ring. So this is not cautery, but it happens so quickly uh, that there's actually a mechanical cleavage of the anterior capsule. And uh, what's nice about it is it happens uh, simultaneously around the entire circumference, 360 degrees all at once. So you're not actually zipping around as you would with the laser. Um, so the result is that uh, basically with an instrument in the eye filled with viscoelastic, with or without pupil expansion devices, for example, you get a perfect size capsulotomy uh, with no tags. So another interesting feature is that the silicone shell, when it's submerged uh, in viscoelastic, uh, becomes actually transparent. Uh, so there's an opening in the middle where the patient could view a fixation light uh, so that the surgeon has the option of actually centering the device and therefore the capsulotomy right on the patient's fixation uh, as determined intraoperatively. The February issue of Ophthalmology has our first two companion papers published on the Zepto capsulotomy device. And one set of experiments, uh, this was done in human cadaver eyes. Uh, we actually used uh, Miyake Apple video to show that during the actual application of both the suction and the energy, uh, there is no un un unusual stress on the zonules uh, or the rest of the capsular bag. The first clinical trial uh, was done in February by Dr. Kevin Waltz uh, in uh, San Salvador, and uh, Kevin's partner's there, uh, and he did a total of 10 cases. Uh, some of these were mature white cataracts, some had small pupils, uh, very dense nuclei, and the uh, Zepto performed as uh, expected and desired uh, and was 10 for 10 with uh, perfect capsulotomies with free floating flaps. Uh, one of the real unexpected things, though, was that the Zepto capsulotomy appears to be extremely strong. Uh, so the company devised uh, a, uh, a force gauge uh, machine uh, that could be used to consistently test capsulotomies in cadaver eyes. And it was compared uh, to the femto capsulotomy as well as to the manual capsulotomy. And the way that you do this is you must use paired human cadaver eyes. So it's the same individual, but you do zepto in one eye and either manual or femto in the other. Uh, and these results, again, were published uh, this February and uh, convincingly showed that uh, in each case, the zepto was stronger than manual. In each case, it was stronger than the femto capsulotomy in terms of the, uh, uh, the resistance uh, to tearing. Uh, so this is, of course, uh, very important. 
you know, one of the concerns that's been expressed in terms of uh, clinical results so far with femto is a greater uh, incidence of late tears of the anterior capsule. Uh, and this is thought we now think we now think this is due to sort of aberrant shots that may occur as there are patient saccades uh, during the application of the femto energy. So uh, there may actually be uh, some promise here that the zeptorexis or zeptocapsulotomy will be more resistant to tearing. Uh, as we know, uh, many people are uh, looking toward automated capsulotomies for their uh, premium refractive IOL patients, uh, wanting to have perfect overlap or a perfect size not wanting to worry about the possibility of a run-out tear uh, when, for example, they need to put in a multifocal IOL. So again, that would be another situation where some surgeons might elect to use the device then. And I think if it proves to be uh, uh, very fast and uh, uh, reproducible, I'm sure there will be a lot of people that would be tempted to use this on every case. Uh, and uh, I think the cost model uh, would allow that to be done.